everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I have a Timu haul. I wanted to go ahead and share with you. Boy, this angle, I really have to fix this. It's it's off a bit. Um, okay, so I have a Timu haul and I have all the prices written down for you. So um, I just want to start out saying that Timu lost like a 35 item order of mine. So it was running late. So they gave me a $5 credit. It had gone a week past it when it was supposed to be due. And um, I talked to customer service. They were great. They gave me a full refund and then let me know that I will not be receiving the package. They could not track it. So I'm not sure what happened with that. So I have to reorder all of those items. Um, and it was a lot of like really good bargains, really good deals. I had emergency whistles I wanted to put on gr the girls' um, backpacks and things. I bought a tracker to put on Aubrey's backpack. So I could download the app on my phone and I could track her for when the school bus is running late or when she's at like a Girl Scouting event, just so I can keep tabs on her because she doesn't have a cell phone that has like Life360 on. If you don't know what Life360 is, definitely look definitely look it up. Uh, we enjoy using Life360. Um, okay, so we found out that we were are going on a family vacation with Christopher's side of the family. So his mom and dad, his sisters, and he has a niece and a nephew um, on that side. So we're renting a house and we're super excited. So um, there's three girls, Avery and Aubrey being two of the three. So I bought them all matching bathing suits. I bought them matching tank tops, matching shorts, matching seashell bags. Um, and they arrived today and they're super, super cute. So I hope my niece's stuff fits her. It looks like it will, but she's really tall and tiny. Um, so I know like bathing suits and stuff like that is going to be kind of hard, but Avery and Aubrey tried theirs on the one I bought. Aubrey actually fits Avery and the one I bought Avery actually fits Aubrey and Aubrey really could use a size up. She's quite, um, thick, um, more on the chubby side where Avery is tall and slender. Um, so I might buy a size up and then just keep it in rotation. Uh, cause the other two do fit Avery. Uh, the one is actually kind of big on Avery. So I want to show you their bathing suits. So this is the adult small. This is Avery's bathing suit. They're all the same bathing suit, just different sizes. So they are so, 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 so cute. So I paid, what did I pay? I paid $7.82 per swimsuit. So this is the top. So this goes over here. I love the bright colors. And a quick little tip when kids are swimming in pools or oceans or lakes or whatever, bright colors. You do not want a blue bathing suit because God forbid there's an emergency, you won't be able to see them. So I strive for buying bright colors, something that I can see um, when they are in the water. So this is the top and then it has high-waisted just bikini bottoms. So just like that. So just normal bathing suit bottoms. So that's the small. Here is the medium. And then I got my niece a size 10 because that's what size my mother-in-law told me to get her. So I hope that will fit her. Um, if not, hopefully we see them before we leave and I can have her try it on. Okay, so that's the bathing suit, $7.82. I thought that was a good price for bathing suits. So I got them these tank tops. This is, I got two mediums and then an extra small. And the reviews on them said that they ran small. So I almost wish I would have got Avery and Aubrey a large, just so they were a little bit longer. But Avery, Avery shaking her head no. Um, they fit them good. So, sun, salt, sand. This is perfect for on top of their bathing suit uh, because it does have the long... Um, what is this called? Like, it has a long arms, so you can see like, you know, under the armpit. So for these, four dollars and forty-eight cents. I thought that was a good deal. So that will be cute. So I have two mediums, and then this is my niece's size. Aubrey thinks it looks a little bit too big on her, um, but I think I think that will be fine. 
So hopefully we'll get some cute pictures for their grandma of the three girls. Okay, so their seashelling bags. The seashelling bags, I did buy three of the exact same bag, $1.78, and I got it in lime green. Um, so the ones I bought the girls when we went to Clearwater had a zipper on them, and they were a little bit larger, but because of the salt water from the ocean, the zippers kind of corroded, so you couldn't unzip it. These do not have a zipper, so... Pros and cons. Pros, it's not going to rust. Cons, if they bend over, all their seashells are going to fall out. So I got those under $2 each. I thought that was a good price. Okay, so Timu messed up on this also, so I am going to have to do a refund. I actually reached out, and they want me to send back the ones that they sent, and then um, I'll just get a refund. So I have two packs. They look exactly the same, except for one was supposed to be silver, and one was supposed to be gold. Uh, this 50 count of gold dolphins was $1.98. This 50 count of gold dolphins was $1.48. So I'm gonna send back the $2 dolphins and get my money back and then I have time to reorder. Another thing I'm not really pleased about are these are plastic. And I guess I just assumed from buying tons of charms that these would be metal and it did not disclose on there that they were going to be plastic. So that was another thing. And then I bought, we ran out of the silver earring hoops to make your own earrings. So I bought two packs. These were a dollar sixteen each. They look like good. Yeah, they look great. I've 